it's not uncommon that we get lots of questions every week from various professionals as to whether or not they can or cannot form their business entity as a limited liability company. Based on all of the Google research that a lot of people do these days, they get caught up in this sort of internet myth that LLCs are simple and easy and you don't need evil lawyers and you can save a lot of money and it costs you 75 bucks and just do this stuff yourself. And when you combine that with the A-type personalities that you get with professionals, you get a, a lot of people just trying to do stuff themselves and or you get you know, lawyers or accountants that think they're lawyers and can form corporations and end up getting their clients into a lot of trouble. And when it comes to forming corporations, unfortunately, as it relates to professionals, there's a lot of different code sections that you have to look to, to to get sort of definitive answers. You can start in the corporations code, and then you can go to the business professions code, and then you can go to the California code of regulations, and then you're finally having to deal with your particular board and asking them questions. So I'd received a question this week wherein the client asks, your website says that an engineering company cannot be an LLC. However, I see many examples of this and have a California lawyer telling me it's fine. The basic walkthrough is this, that if you go to the code section that deals with limited liability companies and what they can and cannot do, you'll see that within that particular code, the California Limited Liability Company Act, it says quite clearly that nothing in this title shall be construed to permit a domestic limited liability company to render professional services. And obviously, when you're trying to form an engineering company, most oftentimes, engineers are rendering those professional services. And then when it says, well, what are the professional services? You need to go to a different section of the corporation's code wherein it says that a professional service means any type of professional services that may be lawfully rendered only pursuant to a license authorized by the business and professions code. Then takes us down to here, which says that this chapter does not prohibit civil, electrical, or mechanical engineers from practicing or offering to practice within the scope of their license these kinds of services, so civil, uh, electrical, mechanical, as a sole proprietorship, partnership, limited liability partnership, or corporation. And you'll notice quite clearly that limited liability companies are excluded from this list. So that's kind of how you logically weave your way through that problem. And uh, hopefully this will prevent some other lawyers making mistakes on behalf of their clients and more importantly, perhaps accountants who think that they should be doing legal work and or worse when you get those A-type personalities where they think they can just do it themselves and then subsequently end up in a big headache. Mm -hmm.